Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, someone's paid an invoice. That's a good omen. Let me see if I can. We might, we might get those during the during the. I'm experimenting with something here. You can probably tell it's um. I'm um, going to do something that means I can read a few bits out to you rather than um, have to do it in the car. And uh, obviously reading things out in the car is a bit difficult. I've got, I've picked up a few things here. I've just kept in a pile over the last few months. This is um, one of them. This is the headline uh, for the Daily Mirror on Monday, March the 6th. And they love a good dental story, don't they? The uh, the dental press. NHS dentistry is on its knees, with 11 million people unable to access dental care. So, um, this this uh, usually is a pretext for just a story about people pulling their own teeth out. And I don't think this is any different. Um, what is different is that the um, veneer which the Department of Health uh, has managed to maintain about the NHS service being available. Uh, although you might have to wait slightly longer or travel slightly further to get it, is I think it's finally broken down. By the time, by the time the Daily Mirror starts um, publishing things like this, then uh, really they they've given up, haven't they? They've given up rebutting it. I don't know what they might say in here in, in rebuttal, but um, that I think that all hinges uh, that all goes back to the time when the BBC did that survey and said that they couldn't uh, find NHS dentists and. BBC had so much, um, uh, you know, such a good reputation for, they, they were, you know, when the BBC goes up against the Department of Health, the Department of Health knows this, it's lies and half-truths, so um, difficult to continue with, aren't they, after that? So, so what do they say? Grant Lakey, 58, it was a bit medieval. The plumber had to yank out four of his, oh, here we go, four of his teeth with a string because he was unable to access an NHS dentist. Now, I've said, um, I mean, I'll declare I'm not an NHS dentist. I, I have been and, uh, and was for a lot of time in the past. But um, um, I've, I've gone over the fact that it's not easy to take your own teeth out. And therefore, you know, they, they have to be sort of falling out to be able to um, take them out with a string. But um, so the uh, dad of two has now been forced to spend thousands of pounds and he's taken, he hasn't spent it, he's borrowed it. He took out a £6,000 loan to have six implants fitted in Turkey. And now he needs to find another £6,000 to go back to get the dentures fitted on the implants that he's had. Uh, he said, I pay my taxes. So the NHS should have been there for me. Well, if he'd been there for the dentists in the 1990s, then uh, the NHS probably would have been there for him. But... Um, but he wasn't, and so they're not. And um, this I pay my taxes thing is a, uh, it, it was a common thing. It was more common in the 80s and the 90s than it is now. We get very few people come in now and say, I pay my taxes, therefore I should be able to get NHS. Um, most uh, people don't, uh, you know, believe that they're, they've got, they've got the entitlement. They think they might deserve the entitlement, but I don't think that they think that they, uh, uh, are, 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 you know, that, that's going to get them in the door that their name is on the list just because they're a taxpayer. Uh, pensioner lost his dentures, had stayed away from his dentist during the pandemic and therefore was deregistered. I just needed a dentist to do me a new set of dentures. There, it's easy, you know, we can knock out a set of dentures in five minutes, can't we, dentist? That's all he needs, just needs dentist to make him a set of dentures. Uh, he ended up flying to Turkey, and uh, this is going to seriously affect the balance of trade if this carries on. Got 12 dental implants, two root canals, 15 extractions, and 28 porcelains at a cost of £8,000. Now, uh, I'm skint now. Well, you know, I mean, there, there'll be other stories in other papers about people who've been to Turkey and have problems with the dentistry they've had done in Turkey. And as I said to Mrs. Angry this morning, I can't understand why someone uh, flying to a country where, the, the, you know, the, the regulation in Turkey is totally unknown and probably unenforceable, certainly for someone who's living thousands of miles away. And they pay one third of the cost of uh, having a decent job done and then, 
you know, because they get a free park of pen. And that's the main attraction, you know, for a lot of people. They say, well, you know, not only is it cheaper in Turkey, but you get a free holiday. You get a free holiday with it. You know, and so the, the free holiday is the big, it's the deciding factor, really, not the quality of the work or the cost is a big factor. But the, the free holiday, you know, uh, factory manager Janice flew to Turkey to get her teeth sorted out because it was far cheaper than paying soaring NHS dental charges. Now, I seriously doubt that. I mean, I don't doubt at all that um, she probably couldn't get the work done on the NHS, but it, it certainly flying to Turkey and, and getting your teeth done wouldn't have been cheaper than getting the equivalent work done on the NHS. But I'm sure she, she just couldn't. So she was quoted £2,000 for an implant, which is about right. And that's not an NHS price. Um, so she inherited some cash and decided to spend £7,000 getting an oral refit, sinus lift, bone graft, nine implants, five root canals and 21 crowns. Uh, and then she's finding that she's got problems to um, get anyone to take her on in the UK. So what do they, Mira says, because of a flawed national payment contract that does not reward work actually carried out. That's true. It rewards dentists according to the number of uh, courses of treatment they've done. Half of dentists have slashed the number of NHS patients they see. Uh, a lot of people haven't even bothered. Health and Social Care Committee Chair Steve Bryan, because they're they're having a um, Health and Social Committee Care Committee is having a inquiry into NHS dentistry starting soon. I've put some evidence in. Perhaps I'll put it. I'll link it in the um, the notes. Uh, he's been very good actually. He asked me to send some um, some uh, evidence in, but um, I, I, you know, if I go and give evidence, it'll be the third committee that I've given evidence to, and they're like, um, I went in the uh, 1990s, told them what was wrong with they didn't take any notice, not only that, the, the patients and, and were very anti dentist. And then I went along in 2007, 2008, told them what was wrong with the UDA system, why it wouldn't work, why it was going to collapse. Blah, 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 blah. They didn't listen. So now we are there 14 years later, uh, having another inquiry, trying to find out why things aren't working. And I'll, and perhaps we'll come on to that in a later thing. So um, the number of patients coming to Turkey from the UK is really quite incredible. It shows no signs of slowing. Well, we don't... Uh, We, we don't, um, I mean, we've got a few patients who've had their teeth done in Turkey and I'm not that bothered about taking them on. But um, they do mention this big clawback, which is where dentists are paid in advance for the amount of work they do. And then if they don't do enough, then they um, have to pay it back and they're clawing about 10% of the budget back in April. A checkup now costs £23.80. You know, I mean, that covers a, a scale and polish and x-rays as well. Um, so that's, you know, it's not quite clear. Um, a filling £65.20, well, that's not that's not the price of a filling. That's the price of a course of treatment that includes at minimum one filling. So it could include 10 fillings. It could include 10 fillings, two retreatments and 10 extractions. Uh, would be £65.20. So I think when you when I start explaining it like that, you'll sort of understand where where the problems come from, you know. How a patient expects to get a course of treatment that includes an unlimited number of fillings, an unlimited number of root treatments, unlimited number of um, of extractions for £65.20, then, you know. And this has meant less well-off patients putting off treatment, contributing, blah, blah, blah. Data indicates that the UK spends the lowest proportion of its health budget on dentistry of any European nation. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The BDA insisted there are no new dentists, no new money and no new contract. So there we are. So that's mainly a, an article about just people going to Turkey, isn't it? With a little bit of um, patients pulling their own teeth out for good measure. And uh, really um, an examination of the, you know, the, the NHS fees for the work, which, again, I don't really altogether blame the fees. I just... Um, uh, because the, the amount of money that's in the system is probably enough to run the system. Um, it's just, 
it's just uh, they don't really um, address the they don't really address the fees, do they? Properly, they don't really they don't really say that you can't get a filling done for sixty or, or a course of treatment done. They call it the price of a filling when they should. They don't really uh, you know present the system exactly as it works, which is um, a course course of treatment involving ten fillings or sixty five pound twenty, which works out six pound fifty a filling, and that's why dentists won't do it. You know, it's sticking out like a tail on a dog's bum. Anyway, that's that's that um, article. So in the next uh, short, I'll do another another article. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.